In many websites, we have to be logged in to be able to see some data. Imagine you want to build your own dashboard to be on top of your financial health, but your credit card provider doesn't offer your data via an API. The solution is to build a web scraper that logs into their website using your own credentials and fetches your financial data from there. So far, we've just seen how to make get requests using Scrape, and now we'll see how to create post requests so that we can have our spider submitting forms and authenticating into websites. As usual, let's start with our example website. I'm already logged in here, so as you can see, for each author, I see the link to the author's page on Goodreads. If I log out, this information disappears. So, our goal now is to build a spider that extracts the name and the Goodreads link from each author in the first page here. To do that, our spider will have to log into this website with a known username password combination. To understand how that works, let's inspect the request made by our browser. Let's go to the login page, open the network inspector. Here it is. Fill in the form and submit it. Here we can see that the browser made a post request to the server, to this URL here. And it sent three parameters along. The username, the password, which are the ones that I just typed in, and a third one called CSRF token. Now let's look at the login page source to understand it. Here we have the form, and now let's see the source code. Here we can see that in addition to the username field and the password, we have also the CSRF token, which is a hidden input with what appears to be the hash of something. Now let's see what happens if you submit the form without the CSRF token field. To do that, let's inspect this page and remove that field from the form using the delete element option. Now let's try submitting it. And here we go. We got an error saying that there was an invalid CSRF token. In this case, it wasn't present. Another thing is that every time we reload this page, we get a new token. Let's check it out. So we changed once more, change again, and again. This is a common practice for web forms nowadays. Websites use this to protect their users and themselves from forged form submissions. And how can we handle it? First, our spider will download the login page. Then, it has to extract the CSRF token from the form and add it into the form data that we will submit. And finally, it will create a request to the action URL from the form. So let's code it. Here we have a spider to extract the author's names and Goodreads URLs. As you can see, the parse quote method is already done, and it's supposed to be called after our spider successfully logged into the website. So all that's left for us to implement is the login logic, which will sit here in the parse method. The spider starts by fetching the login page. Then the parse method is called to handle its response. Here we have to scrape the CSRF token value first. Let's look at the page to create the selector. As we can see, it's an input hidden inside the page. The name is CSRF token, and we are interested in this value field, so we have to extract the value from it. So we are looking for an input whose name is CSRF token and we are interested in the value attribute, so we get only that. We can quickly test this on Scrapey Shell, so let me copy the URL here, open Scrapey Shell, now let's copy the selector, and try it there. That's it, we got the CSRF token correctly, so let's go back to our spider. Now let's create a dictionary with the data that we want to send to the server. First the token, and then we have the credentials. Let's just see their field names in the HTML. It's username and password. So let's go back 
and pass those values. Here any username password combination will work. And now we have to create a post request. We can do so by creating a form request object instead of a request one. First, we have to pass it the URL where the data is going to be posted to. Here in the form, we can see that it's the same one that presents the login form. It also gets a form data argument, a dictionary containing the data that we want to submit to the server. And finally, we have to point out which method will handle the response, which is in this case the parse quotes method. And now let's run the spider. As you can see, 10 items have been scraped. And here we have an example, Steve Martin and its Goodreads URL. Great, it's working. An even simpler way to do it would be using the form request dot from response method. In this case, we wouldn't even have to manually extract the hidden field. It's a huge time saver. So, check out the documentation in the video description and try this by yourself. See you in the next video.